All right, welcome back to another Concord Rangers Football Manager episode. The Beach Boys are back in town. The Beach Boys are back in town. Dun, dun. There you go. Bit, bit of the old Thin Lizzy mixed up with a bit of uh, bit of Jamie Moran there. Musical gold, as it were. Um, yeah, we've got Spurs today. Spurs are always a tricky one. Uh, they're second. It's the top two again. We've had some, you know... Spell of a couple of really tricky games. Arsenal away uh, in the league. They were second. We were top. 1-4-3. Very tight game. But managed to come away with a win there. Beat Man United 4-1. Man United had a bad bit of form. So that was good. But two key players. Poliak and Hackett. Both been brilliant. Hackett getting a hat-trick against Arsenal. Getting it two against Man United. Poliak basically supplying him for fun. Getting a couple of goals in there as well. And now we've got Spurs. Spurs are a decent, very, very, very decent side. They've been uh, on good form again this year. They've never really managed to get into that top position. They've always been flirting with it. They've been, they've looked, they're, they're one of the most attractive teams in the league. They score goals. Um, we have taken one of their players, one of their key goal scorers over the last few years. Mili Fransakovic is on us now, but he's obviously not a first team starter. And our record against them is one of the few negative records we have. Um, might be the only one I can think of. Um, but in the last few times, we've done okay. We've managed to finally turn that around. For a long time, they used to beat us constantly. Got a couple of wins against them. Then had a bad run of games where we conceded a few goals. But we've not lost them in five games, beating them three in three of those. Um, we have never done the double over them. We had a great chance last year to do the double over them, conceded a late goal at home to make sure that didn't happen. We've never done the double over them. This will be the this will be another opportunity to do that. Obviously beating them away is always harder than beating them at home and we're on good form. So I'm expecting to really do well. But their form is excellent. Their form is excellent. This isn't like playing Arsenal or Man United. Arsenal were on good form, Man United were on poor form. Spurs form are on excellent form. They're looking very good. But we're favourites. We're f- Seven to four on the win. I'm not going to let that go to the heads. I'm going to play as strong as team as possible. I did moot the idea of playing Bruninho on the wing because it seemed as though he was getting a bit more involved. Um, but suicide at this point. The uh, player of the month was Hackett. The second player of the month was Poljak. These two have been linking up beautifully. I won manager of the month. The only issue I am slightly worried about is players getting tired because we've got a lot of game. We've had a lot of games in a, in a short period of time. So. Going to try and look at the condition of some players. Cuevas was below 90, so he definitely doesn't start. Hackett's at 90. You've got a couple of players in 91, but I can't take off Hackett or Poljak. Bonino might be one. Prosperi, yeah, I might go back with Hughes today, just because Prosperi's looking tired. I would have probably stuck with Prosperi, but I'm going to go back with Hughes just because he's a little bit fitter. Harewood again is another man. I think Davis is back ready, so I might play Davis or Smith. Smith, funny enough, despite not playing that much in the last year or bit, was actually voted in the World Team of the Season bench. It wasn't in, but only one player was voted from us in the World Team of the Season. That was Stocker. Um, Smith was on the bench, and I was like, he's not played that much, but he's put on there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a game. Other than that, that's the team today. That's the team, and man. I would love a win. If we fought those two games were tough, the Man United game wasn't so much. But if we fought, we were in a, in a bit of a rough game. This is the game. This is the game right here. Um, who should I put on the bench? Uh, Harewood, Carmo, Zanfroff, Wallace, Prosperi, Diaz. It's a good bench. But I'm tempted to put Fran Sekovic on there. I'm tempted to put him on for Wallace. I would. I know he's not quite fully there. He's not quite in good condition. But I would love to bring him on and have him score. I would love that. He's been. He was. He scored bags of goals for Spurs. But I would love him to get one over on them today. But that's the team. I'm gonna be keeping an eye on condition. I'm gonna keep an eye on some players whose fitness is a little bit dodgy. But Hackett and Poliak, I can't afford to not start them. Their form has been so good. They have been putting crosses into each other and just getting on the end of them. Hackett with five goals in his last two. Well, I can see a fair few Concord players there. There's four in the starting lineup for Spurs. That attacking three, you can see across there. They're all ex Concord. Serena, albeit only on loan for a season. John Rankin, obviously, people know, remember him, had him for a few years. Mark Meyer, kind of the understand, understudy for Hackett for a few years. Carl Hussey, we had. Never really broke into the first team consistently, but looks pretty good. 
Uh, Matthias Alonso is on the bench as well. He's a bit old now, isn't he, Matthias Alonso? Yeah, he was a right back. Decent. There you go. Uh, Ex-Spurs players, I think we've got obviously uh, Fanseca, which we've talked about, but I don't think there's any other Ex-Spurs players on there. Most of the English players we have have come from youth or from like Liverpool or Man United. Davis is Belgian. Southampton, Chelsea, Liverpool, Liverpool, youth, youth was I think, or was Leeds, I think it might have been Leeds. So Monaghan's definitely youth, Hackett's definitely youth. Paul Yak, we signed from Bayern, Bruninho from PSG, yeah. Harewood might be, you know, Harewood Sampton as well. Karma we got from Lisbon. Zamfroff, we bought him, I think, from Oxford when he was young. San Francisco, which is Spurs. Prosperi, I think it was from Italian side. Diaz was from Man United, yeah. There you go. Oh, man, I am nervous about this one. Uh, prove a point. Prove a point. Keep going, boys. Get another four goals against these lot. That'd be bloody marvellous. I'm nervous about this one. I'm more nervous about this one than I was against you know, Arsenal and United. Because I just think Spurs have always had a thing over us. Always had a thing. And I'd love to kind of dispel that and finally get a double over them. <sighs> okay, right. Um, Casarati has been booked. His hack it, but it's a ball in. Brunillo! Oh my god! That's a chance. What a save. Should be a goal. Brilliant, you just can't get that goal. He's in poor form. You can't get that goal. That would have been wonderful. Classic Brunino goal. Getting in the near post, but he just hasn't done that a lot recently. Come on, boys. Possession's quite close, but we've had the shots. Man City have won the up against Arsenal. Not that really matters. We've got to focus on this game. Here's Harvey. Monaghan, Harvey back in the team. Puts the ball in. Head it in. Hack it again. Get in. Hack it's on fire. Wonderful ball by Harvey. He's back in the team. Hack it powers the header in. I think I saw Man City go 2 1 up against Arsenal. So they'll be overtaking Arsenal at this rate. Oh. Brilliant. And we've got another opportunity here, I think. Monaghan, Hack it. Harvey again. Puts the ball in again. It's another one. Oh, Hack it. Brilliant work from Harvey. Back in the team. He's not played for a while because I've been playing Cuevas. Oh, Hackett's got a twisted knee. I'm going to keep him on for now. But my word, I am really struggling if he goes off. I might have to put Bonino at right midfield. At right wing if uh, Hackett has to come off. That's a blow. But it's 1-0 at the moment and it is looking strong for us. We're looking good. we just got to keep it going. Not much happened, but we've been the better side, I'd say. I'd say this, uh, don't, uh, what I say? Don't get complacent. Don't get complacent. You just got to keep going. Keep going. We're looking good. There's a lot of low scores for Spurs out there. There's a couple for us, but we just got to keep going. Yeah, it should be able to nurse him through, but I will think about taking off. Lovely ball. Here is Hackett. Hackett's got to look for a man there. Puts it across. Pox there. 2-0. Get in. Hack and Pollock linking up again. We are undefeatable at the moment. Spurs haven't even had a shot. They've had more possession than us, but they've done all with it. 2 0. Pollock and Hackett. Just the boys at the moment. Like, they are undroppable. That's a great game between Man City and Arsenal. 3 2 there, but we're on that, approaching the hour mark now. Right. Hackett is kind of. Survive through the game at the moment. He's doing okay. I'm tempted to keep him in. Um, there are fitness concerns, but I just don't want to break it at the moment. We're playing so well. Like having less possession, but the better team. See what happens here. Come on. Don't concede now. Don't concede now, because that would make it really dodgy. Casarati, he's been tackled there, but he wins the ball back. What I might bring on, just for a bit more energy, a bit more dynamics, I might bring on Prosperi. Not sure who, who for, though. Hughes or Stocker? I'll look at the condition. Here's Stocker. Oh, what a ball by Stocker! Poyak! Hack, it's got to be getting on the end of that. Poyak! Oh, it's a goal! It's Bruninho! Poliak created the chance, it fell to Bruninho, he finally breaks his uh, his drought. 
Breninho gets on the score sheet. It's 3 0. Get in. Get in. We're finally going to do the double over Spurs. Let's make some subs. We'll do it on fitness. Um, I am going to take off Hackett. I'm going to put Bruninho on the right wing. Take off Hackett and put on... Oh, do you know what? It would be so sweet. Wouldn't it just be sweet? Ah, oh, it's got to be Franz Akerich. I'm going to stick him up top. Um, who have I got? Who have I got? I'm going to take off Monaghan, bring on Zanfaroff. And I'm going to do three substitutions. Take off Stocker and bring on Prosperi. Make sure Prosperi's happy. There we go. Ah, oh, Three substitutions with 15 minutes to go. 3-0 up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come on. Apparently their goalkeeper's been brilliant. We've absolutely battered them, lads. Can it be four? We've done it again, lads. It's for a it as well. Unreal. Unreal stuff. Dreams are made of it, lads. Arsenal, Man United and Spurs have all been put to the sword. It could be a fifth, could it? Oh. It's not cleared though. It's not cleared. Spurs have been battered here, lads. It's Franz Akovic again. Oh, it's going to be offside. Oh, lads. It's an absolute dream boat of a game. 4-0. 4-0. Absolutely bad. And they've not done anything. Finally got a shot away in the 88th minute. 4-0. It's four, three consecutive games against Arsenal, Man United and Spurs. We can score four against all four of three of them. Fransekovic gets one against his old side. It's a dream boat result, lads. It's a dream boat result. We're four points clear at the top. Oh, I can't be happier. I can't be happier with that. Perfect. We finally got the double over Spurs. Happy New Year 2041 to Concord Rangers. Mele Fransakovic gets the fourth goal. Benigno breaks his duck. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Arsenal, Man United, Spurs. Ah! Oh. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, you humbled, mate. Humbled. Hack it out for three, five days. Not a problem, mate. You take a few days off. You deserve it, my friend. Six goals and three games for Hackett. Absolutely mental for my second choice right midfielder. Bloody brilliant. Bruninho ends his goal drought. Paul Yak has been absolutely brilliant after not quite the start I want him to, but in recent games, if we just show his form. It... He had a bit of a spell here where he wasn't looking so sharp. Look at that. A bit deep, you know, not a particularly good spell there. And then in the last one, two, three, four, five games, he has scored five goals, assisted seven. Just insane from Poliak. Just insane. If we look at, um, I also want to look at uh, Hackett. I don't know where he will be. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's look at Mr. Hackett. Where is he? Where's the boy? Michael Hackett. He's injured for a few days, but it's not a problem. He can take the few days off. Oh, my word. Look at this. He has been absolutely phenomenal, Michael Hackett, when we've lost Bruninho for a large amount of games. But look at his scoring rate. Look at his assists. He's just been brilliant. He's been absolutely brilliant. Nine goals. This is his best scoring campaign in the league already. And we're only just started January. Uh, his highest scoring season for us. He scored nine there. He scored one there. 13-11. So his highest scoring season is 13. He scored 9 so far this season. Just ridiculous, lads. Just ridiculous. I want to see this again as well. Look at that. Arsenal 4-3. Man United 4-1. Tottenham Hotspur 4-0. Cheers then. Um, one more game today, lads. And it's going to be a nice chilled one. FA Cup game. It's League 1 Coventry. Absolutely Lovely, bubbly, jubbly. Coventry at home in the cup then. Oh, I just, I'm just buzzing, lads. I'm just buzzing with the result. With the form, it's the, possibly the hardest three games in the, in the consecutively in the league we've ever had in terms of who we've played up against and the most convincing we've ever been. Absolutely mental. Obviously, going to change things around a bit. We're heavy favourites. 8-1 to one on to win. We played them four times in our history. 1-2, lost two, but that was back in the day. 
Uh, going to be changing team around a lot today, obviously, because with the, lots of games coming thick and fast, I want to make sure teams are uh, players are fit, and obviously, you know, it's it's there's no re no need to uh, to exert them on a game like this one. So, uh, where is Lalinha? There he is. Lalinha starting. I'm going to start Lalinha with let's start him with Harry because I think Smith might have taken that starting berth for me after that game. Um, have I got to stick with. Har I'm going to stick with Harvey today. In the midfield, um, there's rumours that, well, there are, have had bids on loan for Vizic. So playing him might put that at risk if he gets injured. But I do want to give him some time. So I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with Vizic and where's Wallace? There's Wallace out there. Um, Hackett obviously can't play. He's still a little bit injured. Pres uh, ben Rab is not quite there. Perez can play. So Perez will have him back. He's been injured for a while. Zamfroth there. I'm going to go with Carmo, whoever, whoever he is. He's on the bench, he is. I'm going to go with Kevin Diaz. I feel like he's kind of been neglected a little bit recently, so I'm going to try and get him in, get him playing a bit more. Um, I'm going to sort of maybe put a couple of youth prospects on the uh, on the bench just to kind of give ourselves like... There's a couple of good ones. Uh, Gutierrez is actually quite highly rated, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna have a loan offer from um, from Porto for him, so I'm gonna put him on the bench. Um, who else is eligible? Uh, Dahan, Dahan's quite good as well, so I'll put him on the bench. I, I can't remember what position Dahan plays. I think it's defensive midfielder. Defensive midfielder. Okay. The Han will come in then, and I'll put him in there instead of Stocker. I just want to sort of rotate a few players. Uh, that's about it, I think. And then uh, Beal, I don't think he's very good. Nah. All right, that's it. So go back to that. And then going to put Ben Rabba on the bench, so I will give him some time out on the pitch. I'll stick him on there instead of Monaghan. And second, which don't want Paul Riak on the bench, I will put... Got a defender, haven't I? I put Prosperi on the bench. There we go. Paul uh, Smith, Prosperi, Ben Rabba, Fransakovic, Dahan, Gutierrez. Good. Nice little mix of players there. It looks like Wes is going to leave as well. I've had some contract offers for him, so I'm not going to stand in his way if he wants to go. Make sure everyone's happy. I know they're not quite the full, full strength team, but uh, do you know what? Like, obviously, we want, we always want to do well in every competition that we're in. But I have no interest in them. Um, I have no real like you got to keep it going right got to keep the form going and obviously we're playing entirely new players here there's going to be a couple of players who are a bit 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 uh not quite in he's not, you're not having the number 10 shirt Gutierrez and not even 12 or 7 either 7 obviously we never gave into another player ever again because that's uh that's my boy my boy uh Joe War he's uh that's his number I've affectionately retired for him I could have apparently there is a way you can do that but only once they retire um, because I effectively ended his contract, while well, his contract ended before he retired, meant that that didn't ever come up, which is a little bit annoying. Here we go, against Coventry. I doubt I'm going to recognise anybody on there. I don't think so. Good name, though. Who's this guy? Brian Diamond. What a name! Of course he's their best player. His name is Brian Diamond! Um, yeah, I don't recognise anybody. Let's go out there and kill him, lads. Let's go out there and kill him. Just put no pressure on you, but in this but in the space of three games we played Arsenal, Man United and Spurs and scored twelve goals against some lads, alright? Now you've got Coventry, so uh, yeah, straight from me finished last match, which is a bit harsh because basically none of those players did play that last match. There we go. Let's have some fun. Let's just chill out on this one. No need to worry about this one. Here's Harvey. Early chance. Saved. Oh, penalty, I think. What's he saying? I think he's paying a penalty. VR's given a penalty. I'm not sure who's going to step up and take it. I don't know who's capable on pitch. It's going to be Diaz. Diaz puts it away. Second minute, 1-0. 11th goal of the season for Kevin Diaz. Uh, I've got high hopes for Kevin Diaz. I think he could be a quality striker. I think he's only 20, 21. How old is he? How old's the boy? 22. Older than I thought. He's going to be brilliant. He is going to be brilliant. I want to keep hold of him for as long as possible. I know he's going to be knocking on the door saying, first team football, please. First team football, please. But I'm thinking him being the understudy, uh, I think I can just about get uh, get what I want from him. 
I'm getting a lot of text from somebody I don't know. Um, here's Perez. Perez. Oh, it's another goal. That's great from Carmo. That Perez, I think, got the shot. It was saved. Went across the goal. Carmo drops it back. Diaz taps in for a second. 2 0. Yeah, loads of texts. I think these are from. If anyone doesn't know, I'm trying to plan a wedding. So I've got a lot of texts from people involved in wedding stuff. Jesus, lads, calm down. Right. Um, Here's Carmo. Oh, play Carmo. Got rid of it, but we're still in control. Chilled out, boys. Visit Carmo. Go on, Carmo. Off the post. Oh, and he got saved, did he? That's brilliant goalkeeping. Uh, obviously, we're dominating. Obviously, we're dominating the okay. game. I know. I. I, I I think I, I think even our fringe, uh, I think even our fringe players are uh, are good enough to uh, to challenge for the league. Um, but I'm, you know, we've they've not let us down most times. His chance is another. Is Roberto? Can't you might come away here? They've not had a shot yet. They try and get a breakaway. Uh, headed by Linea, but right to Thomas. Ah, uh, right at, right at Domingos. Uh, happy as Larry with this, boys. Happy as Larry with this. Um, it's not it's not brilliant. We're tuna. We're cr cruising. Um, Going to attempt to go out and prove a point. Um, because, you know, a lot of these players, you know, there's a couple of play players, you fringe players, you might want to try and break into that first team. I'm looking at players like, um, you know, players like Lilinha, players like Zamfarov, Diaz. You know, they're all good enough to be in a lot of Premier League teams. But oh, Wallace, oh, um, they're all good enough to be in a lot of teams. But they're not in ours. Uh, so, so I want to. I the thing is, I'm so happy with the squad at the moment. Obviously, we're now in January, so the transfer window is open. I have no interest in signing anybody at the moment. And honestly. If it came to the new, it came to the end of the season, and we still had the squad, and they're still playing at their their, their same level, I'd be like, do you know what? I, I can't think of where we need to improve. The squad's perfect. I think maybe getting a backup defensive midfielder might be an idea, because uh, it looks like Visage is probably going to want to leave. But he's doing okay here. I think Visage has been with us for a while, and he's never really had that uh, that that opportunity, just because Hughes has been with us for so long. So it might be best to let Visage go. I can get quite a bit of money for him, but yeah, as I said, I'm not, I'm not really interested in making any signings at the moment. I, I can't even think of where I need to improve. Here's Perez. Perez, drop it back, mate. He doesn't need to. Oh, it's clear away. Diaz couldn't quite get there. We're in firm control. Uh, we will make some subs on the hour mark. Um, right. I'm not going to take off Diaz because he's on a hat trick just yet, so I'll uh, keep him on there. Let's bring on Dahan for Vizic. What can he do for winning midfielder? You do that then. Uh, I'm going to bring on Ben Raba for Perez. Ben Raba obviously been injured for a while. Um, not that we've missed him. Michael Hackett has been absolutely insanely good. Um, And I'll keep an eye on Diaz. I hope that he gets that. It'll be really cool for him if he does. Here's Hughes, though, for Kodri. Well played, Zamfaroff. Giving the ball away, though. Pretty poor from Zamfaroff. Here's Zamfaroff again. He's dropped back. I don't really like it when he drops back too much. I'd rather even stay up, stay up front a bit. Wallace. Carmo. Lovely from the young boys. Puts the ball in. Diaz gets the hat trick. Lovely stuff. I kept him on for that. Luckily, he's repaid me about three minutes later with a goal, with his hat trick goal. Well played, Diaz. Going to take him off though. Um, two two assists from Karma. Wonderful stuff from him. Wonderful stuff. Going to take off uh, Diaz. I'm going to bring on Gutierrez. Never played for us before. Never played for the first team, Gutierrez. Highly rated young Argentine striker though. Wonder kid. Lovely to see that next to their name. 
Got some real young players out there, lads. Here we go, another corner. Chance to make it four. Oh, it's got to be a goal. It is. Open goal for Evil Gallimore. The young boy. He is such a good prospect. He is Polyak. He is Polyak in the making. A goal and two assists for Carmo. Here's Gutierrez. We've got so much great young players as well. Like, not necessarily through the system. I bought some in as well and nurtured them. I've got a training regime which I found from somewhere, which apparently is really good for bringing on young players. Um, here's Carmo. He's got support if he needs it. I'm not sure he's going to need it. Here's Harvey. It's Zafiroff for five. Unfortunately, we've we've ruined our record of scoring four goals a game. We've now scored five. Annoying. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Uh, but Zamfaroff has scored. Well done to him. Chance for a six, maybe. Here's Carmo. Maybe Gutierrez can get on the end of one. Ball comes in. It's Ben Rabat. Ball comes in. It's Gutierrez! And just as I say that, his debut for Concord, he gets a goal. It's 6-0. Lads, it's a wonderful time to be a Concord Rangers Beach Boys fan. It's a wonderful time. We're scoring goals for fun. We're playing entertaining football. I don't know, this is only Coventry, but still got to do it. There are 11 men. You've got to score. Chance for seventh, maybe. Headed away. And are they going to get a breakaway? It's Harkin for Coventry. Oh, I think he took a... Didn't really need to do that. Ben Rabba sticking a foot in, trying to get a tackle. He's going to be going away in a bit, Ben Rabba as well. So unfortunately, he's just about got fit in time for the uh, for the uh, African Cup of Nations. But away goes Ben Rabba. He's won the uh, shoots away. He won the African Player of the of the Year award for about I think the fifth or sixth time running. Yeah, he's a he's the old Yaya Torre. Yaya Torre used to win it all the time, didn't he? Oh, one last highlight. One last highlight. See if we can make it seven. I think I've cracked it, lads. I think I have got the team now. I've got the players. I've got the system. Um, and the system's been there for a while, let's be honest. A lot of the players have been there for a while. It's just beginning to work now. Everything has been beginning to gel. Oh, my word. And of course it is. I bow down to Brian Diamond. What a wonderful name and a wonderful goal to suit it. It is 6-1. Ruined our clean sheet, but an absolutely blind in performance from the boys there. Very pleased with the result and the performance. Great performances all round. Dehan was a little bit low, but you know he's not. He's a young lad. He's a young lad. It's lovely stuff. We're on amazing form, my friends. We're on amazing form. Um, if I show you. What's been going on here? Just mental. Uh, we've dropped two points there against Everton Game Joe, but since that loss to Man City, we have won every game. We have scored hatfuls of goals. A 10 0 there against Jablonec. Uh The last four games, we have scored 18 goals. Uh, conceded, mind you, conceded a few, conceded five in those two, four games. But there we go. Lads, things are looking extremely bright if you are a beach boy. I am a beach boy. Are you a beach boy? Let's hope so. Things are looking good. Uh, the next game, the uh, next episode is going to be uh, just two more games in the Premier League. Away at Watford and away at Norwich. Um, might be tricky. Might be tricky. Watford a seventh. And they've been pretty good, I tell you. Um, because they started the season, they had a five-point deduction at the beginning of the season. Uh, if they had that five points reinstated, they'd be fifth. They'd be ahead of Man United. So, they've been really good. And they've only really lost three games this season. Drawn a lot. Lost one more than us. That's it. They are going to be a really tricky game. We're going to have to go into not take that game for granted. But we're scoring goals for fun. And then we've got Norwich, who started the season. They were getting battered by everybody. But they've recovered, and they've looked really good. Uh, scored a few, you know, I think they lost the first five games, conceding a ridiculous amount of goals. But they've turned that around, and they're looking better. So, tricky couple of league games coming up. Our form has been brilliant. Got to keep this train rolling. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode, lads. Cheers there.